Hello, back again with more um, Eurogamer Expo stuff. Um, so, I've already explained all the games and what blew me away and what didn't. And um, the second thing that I said in my last video that blew me away was on live. Now, if you don't know what on live is, it's been in America for quite a while, and basically what it is is it's um, online gaming that is streamed from what is called the cloud. Now the cloud is an online um, hub, if you like, uh, for gaming, um, video and music streaming, uh, data storage and everything. It's all stored on the internet, but that you can access at any time. Now on live is uh, a gaming service that allows you to play unlimited games as many times as you want, um, whenever you want, on your PC or on your TV. Um, for a, a low subscription you get over a hundred games and you also get to buy any games that come out on release. Unfortunately you have to pay full price for them but the low cost of the other one is enough to warrant getting it and trying it. Now if you didn't really understand that, I will show you at the end of this video, I'm going to show you how to set it up, what it looks like, how it runs and everything. So don't worry about that, so if you didn't understand. Um, but I just wanted to show you it, basically. Um, so, um, when we got there, it launched on the Thursday, and um, went live, and they launched the piece of kit that you have. I mean, it's not out, it's not out to the general release yet, you have to pre-order it and then they'll send it out when they're ready. Yeah, so it launched on the Thursday and um, for everyone that went to Eurogamer Expo, they were giving them away for free. Well, they had a limited amount for each day um, and if they ran out for that day, they were giving you a coupon that um, you could pay a pound and you got one. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, because this kit, when it comes out, is 69.99 and they were giving them to you for free or for a pound. Now luckily I got one for free. Um, now I was pretty impressed with what you get in here. Okay, So I'm going to take you through what you get and then I'll show you how it works. So, in here so I'll show you the two bits of kit you get, but what you also get in the box is a rechargeable battery, a rechargeable battery cable, a Ethernet cable, um, a HDMI cable, and a power cable. Now, this is it. These are your USB ports to connect your controller to charge it and then the back here you got HDMI, you got AV, you got audio and optical audio um, and you've got your Ethernet cable port and your power but that is all you need you don't need a PC or an Apple Mac or anything all you need is that box and it does everything for you on top of that you also get and all the wiring you get the remote or the controller, which is really nice, really comfortable, <coughs> very Xbox like, which makes it really nice and comfortable to hold. Um, when I opened the, well, no, it was quite heavy, and I didn't expect everything you got in here. I mean, even for 70 quid, HDMI cable, you know, rechargeable battery with the wire. I mean, you even got, I mean, this controller had like a, like a, at a you know, like the Xbox controllers have, a pack that you take off that you put batteries in. You even have one of them and batteries in there as well. On top of the recharge back and the recharge cable and the HDMI cable and everything else. Um, so I was really super impressed with that. <coughs> so, let's go and see how it works. How it works. Okay, so um, I recorded this yesterday, um, just because it was easier, it was late, 
Um, I thought I'd do the commentary on top today. Um, so this is me quickly setting it up. Um, first thing you have to do before you actually set it up is you need to go to the web, um, their website, which I'll put in the link in the description below. Um, and basically you have to register um, your email and create a gamer tag. And then when you've done that, you can then set your wires up. So at the moment, uh, I've got my HDMI in, I've got my Ethernet cable in, and my power cable is already plugged in. You'll see me set all these up here. Uh, and then once you've done that, it'll come up on the screen um, and say that uh, it's updating. It'll do an update. Then it'll ask you to plug your controller in. And then it will sync your controller. And then it will update your controller. Um, and then once it's done that, you can unplug it. Um, and you'll be ready to go. Um, obviously, you need to you do need to make sure that you register because you need, you will need your username or your email, sorry, um, and your password to be able to use the service. Um, you're going to see here. It should come up on the screen as on live. Yeah, there it is. Um, and the reason I'm holding this PC Gamer up is if you go and get the new issue of PC Gamer, they're giving you a one month uh, free trial for on live. So here we are. So this is the um, the login screen. So you can see you can just sign in, change your player. There's settings for like color and you know sound and stuff like that. And then power down is just to shut the the whole machine off. So we're going to go ahead and sign in. So there's no sound, um, but I didn't I didn't bother recording the sound of what I was doing on screen. It's just a lot of clicks and beeps and things like that. So it it does take a little while to connect, but once it's connected, it it does fly pretty pretty quick. Um, obviously, the only downside is you do have to have a pretty good internet connection. If you don't have that, this isn't going to work that great for you, um, if at all. Um, I haven't had any trouble with it so far. Uh, obviously because my internet is quite good um, but I'm sure at some point down the line when it slows down a bit if I get a little loop on the line or something it, it might cock up but like I say at the moment it hasn't so this is the this is the little intro that you get as you um, sign in you can skip this if you want but I thought I'd leave it and show you um, and then once you're in I'm going to take you through the menus so this is you can apparently you can connect it to Facebook now um, which I haven't done yet. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, so this is uh, all your options you have once you're signed in. You can see all the games moving around. Um, so I'm going to take you through uh, one by one. So I'm going to start up in Arena. Now I'm not really sure what Arena is, um, but I think it's either uh, like multiplayer, so you can sign in and play against other people, or you can watch games that are being played at that specific time so you can just go in and view people playing and stuff like that a bit a bit like um, uh, the cinema mode on Project Gotham Racing 4 I think it's kind of like that uh, so the next one is profile this one in here you can um, set your profile picture which can actually be a video uh, you can see uh, all the games that you've recently played uh, your friends list and your brag clips I'll get to brag clips in a minute um, and also in the top right corner there's settings uh, but they're, they're like I said, it's everything you could think of to do with your profile. It's basically standard stuff. Um, I'm going to skip marketplace for a minute, or not? Sorry, we're not. So into marketplace. I'll explain all the stuff at the top in a minute in another screen. Um, but as you can see here, so you've you've got a list of feature games that are available. Um, and uh, the pricing on the right hand side um, each game uh, on the right will tell you how much it is um, whether you need a controller or a keyboard and mouse to play it um, but because the unit's got plug uh, USB plugins on the front you can obviously plug and play mouse and um, keyboards because it's got two uh, this on live Pete is um, the list of games that you get for the uh, playback on live subscription service, um, which I'll go through in a second, uh, and then obviously genre is pretty explanatory on how to find games and that by genre. Um, at the moment, on the on live, there's actually 103 games for the subscription that you pay for, 
um, which I think is pretty good. Um, the one I am going to skip for a minute is my games. Um, so here, this is the first one. So this is telling you for six ninety nine a month, you get unlimited of over a hundred games, which you don't have to pay any extra for. Just your six ninety nine, um, and any other games that you buy at full price, you also get an extra thirty percent off. So if it's thirty quid, you're going to get thirty percent off of that. So it's going to be like twenty five quid or whatever. Um, this is saying uh, that if you subscribe uh, up to the ninth of October, any game you buy will be a pound for your first purchase. So the other day I bought Juice X, the new one, for a pound, uh, for 70p, because obviously I've got 30% off because I'm a subscriber, which I thought was pretty cool. This is telling you that um, if you go online, that previous one, sorry, was telling you if you go online um, and pre order uh, Saints Row, you'll get. Um, the kit that I've shown you that we're using now uh, for a pound instead of having to pay full price um, so yeah so this is just a little movie that I show you of something that they created and showing you how well it streams if you click in the middle which is also like hitting the um, X button you bring up this uh, so this is just like um, yeah legal stuff this is where your settings like you see audio video notifications voice chat beta, um, email, stuff like that, Facebook. So that's pretty all self-explanatory. This is your quick launch, so this is all the games that you have available. You can just scroll down, choose on to play. Uh, this is like your controls, your sign out and your power down. Messages, pretty self-explanatory, and voice chat beta, which I haven't set up yet. Um, but that's if you want to chat with people you're playing with online, which is pretty cool. Um, so next we've got last pl uh, last played. Uh, that is just the last. If you click that, it just takes you to the last game you played. Uh, brag. These are videos that people have uploaded. Like, say you do something really cool in game, you can save it and then upload it onto here, and then people can go in and vote on it and comment on it and stuff like that, which I thought was quite cool. And then there's like hundreds that you can go and view that people have already uploaded. Because you've got to remember, this has been out in America already, so there's loads online. Uh, and then finally in the corner, there's friends. Like, you can add a friend and find your friends. <coughs> which I haven't done yet because I don't know anyone else has got it. So if we go into my games, uh, as you can see, uh, I have Juice X Human Revolution. Um, it, they even have achievements on here. I'm not sure if you can link them to the Xbox or um, for the uh, trophies on PlayStation. I'm not sure whether they're like their own online ones. I have no idea. I haven't checked that out yet. And as you can see in the corner, it says full play pass, which means I can play anytime because I'm subscribed. So it, this is my on live pay. Uh, part where I have 103 games. I'm just going to scroll through and show you all the games. So, got four elements Battle Los Angeles, Batman Arcane Asylum, R, whatever that is, AC 130, uh, Advent Rising. Um, I don't know if you want me to read them all out to you as I go, um, but I thought if, you, if you're getting bored of this and you don't, you don't want to see the full list of games, uh, if you just skip ahead, uh, obviously. Um, but I thought I'd just show you what was available. For Four six nine nine at the moment, because um, I think there's some really crackers on there. I mean, you're getting to play Batman, Bioshock, Borderlands is on there. Um, there's some other great ones as well. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Um, some of the bigger games um, are not the not the single player game. Um, I look Juice X, the original that's on here. Um, yeah, they're not the full single player game. They're if they're really big games, you can buy them, but in this subscription package that I've got here, um, you can only play them on multiplayer, which I still think is pretty good because you're still getting to play the game. So like here, you got Fear Two, which is the full game, but Fear Three is only multiplayer, but you can actually buy Fear Three for extra to add it to your games list. So once you've actually purchased the game. You still have to pay your subscription to play the game, uh, and it will just appear in the games list of what's available. So at the moment, I have 104 games that I can play whenever I want at any time for that for that um, subscription. And like I say, if you go and get the new PC Gamer magazine, um, in that uh, there is a free month trial, and at the end you're not obligated, so you can actually quit out, which I thought was quite good. So at the moment, my first month is a free subscription. <coughs> Excuse me, my voice is going. The Lego Batman as well, let's play, which I thought was quite cool. Um, a lot of these, like I've never really heard of. They seem to be quite small games, um, but there are some really big ones on here. Uh, like at the end of this, I'll show you um, a little bit of 
one of the game. Excuse me, one of the games. Um, a lot of these are just low budget um, PC games by looks of things, but you know some of these are quite good. Like Prince of Persia, look forward to playing that. Played that for a while. Like Saw, Saints Row 2. Um, but obviously there are there is going to be a lot of cack on here. But they have said that they will be updating this quite a lot, and there are going to be lots and lots of games that are going to be coming up in the next few months. Not just full games to buy <coughs> at full price, but also added games to this pack that um, is going to increase as well. So this is just the the day release list that they have at the moment. Um, so what we're going to do now, now you've seen the whole list, you can scroll right back to the top and um, I'm going to choose um, the game to play and show you how well it streams. Um, I'm going to show you Batman Arcane Asylum. I started that the other night so I thought, I could, I thought I'd show you that, um, especially as it's like quite graphic heavy. <coughs> Blimey, I can't stop coughing, my voice is going. Um, as you can see, once you click, it, it gives you a little demo of the game as you're waiting for it to load up. Um, and you'll see actually how quick it loads. There we go, so we're into the into it already. Um, so that's not, not too bad. I thought that was pretty quick. Um, you'll see as well that it doesn't actually... Um, there's no juddering, there's no slowdown of the game, as long as your internet connection is running pretty smooth and pretty sweet. Um, Let's just wait for this to go. And like I said, there's no sound, so I'm sorry. Um, <clears throat> there you go, I've already started a game. And the load, loading times are pretty quick as well. There you go, load it, done, straight into the game. I was quite impressed. Because it doesn't use any processing power on your end, all the processing is done on the servers, so nothing, nothing is processed by you. It's all done online, so you don't have to worry. Like if you are using the PC version as long as you've got a PC that can run high speed internet it doesn't matter how crap it is it will still run it because all the processing power is done on the servers so I just think this is just a brilliant brilliant little you know idea really <coughs> I think this could be the future but I mean there's nothing like owning an actual copy yourself but I made sure I got into a little battle so you could see how smooth the battling ran. I mean, you can see that it is running very, very smooth. Very impressed with it. So that's pretty much it. I mean, I can't think at the moment of anything else to tell you about it. But if there's anything you'd like to know, um, please comment on this video. And um, I'll be, well, I'll try my best to answer any questions you have and um, get back to you as quick as possible. So thank you for watching. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, check back soon for more videos. Um, please subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you again soon.